Today we're going to install the Gator Trax Power on this 2014 Ford F-250 with a 6.75 bed. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got the canister laid out, the box is flattened out, the blanket of the cover comes out of the canister this way. What I need to do is I need to release all the packing material inside the canister itself. So, attached to this sticker, we've got a coil that comes out. This keeps everything from rattling around during transit. Pulling that out. And then also we've got this bracket uh, that's, that's holding this uh, blanket, keeping it from coming out. What I'm going to do is take a, just a Phillips head screwdriver, run it through this little yellow coil. And I'm going to undo this coil. Spin it enough to where we can pull it off of the ball bearing that is wrapped around. And I'm going to take that Phillips head screwdriver and remove this bracket from the housing. Remove the screw. I can remove the bracket. Now I can remove the coil. We can repeat those same steps on the opposite side. All right, so now it's time to attach the gator tracks rail to the canister itself. Um, what we're going to do, find gator tracks. That's going to be up towards the cab, so that's going to be on the canister side. What we're going to do is take and run the cover into the rail and then attach these holes here and here to this location here on the canister and here on the canister. Let's slide that in now. Yes. All right, now with our Phillips head screwdriver again, we're gonna take our uh, supplied screws, go through the housing and into the tab on the rail. It's got a threaded hole on there, so the screw will go right in. All right, now we're putting the second screw in, same way we put in the first one. We're gonna repeat these steps on the, on the passenger side as well. All right, now we wanna uh, attach the canister cover. The alignment of this is crucial. The uh, rubber flap has to go towards the cab side. Uh, we're also gonna take and peel back a little bit of the protective film on each side. And we're gonna simply slide this right in underneath the rails. We're gonna line up the holes in the rails to the holes in the canister cover. We're going to take our provided uh, screws and our provided Allen wrench. Once those holes are lined up, we're just going to insert the screw. Now before I tighten that down all the way, I'm going to get the screw started on the opposite side, make sure it's all lined up. Now that we've got the other side started, let's go ahead and snug both sides down. Now with the help of a second set of hands, we're going to lower the canister down into the bed of the truck. We're going to make sure that the rubber flap on the end of the canister cover goes over top of the bulkhead. We're going to lay the rails in place. Next what we need to do is close our tailgate and then this rail needs to be spaced properly back to the tailgate. So we're provided a spacer tool that goes in between the bottom slide of the rail and the tailgate. And what we're going to do, is we're going to slide the rail to that spacer tool. That gives us exactly one eighth inch gap between the rail and the tailgate. We're going to do that on both sides as well. And because this is an F-250, uh, the front of the bed is actually wider than the back. So the front clamp or the cab side clamp has to stretch out wider than the back clamp. So it's a longer clamp in the front. It's actually going to be labeled cab for cab side. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip it up between these two white spacer tabs go as high up as we can where it locks in to the grooves on the uh, on the rail and then we're going to tighten that up we're going to put it snug for right now with a half inch socket and do that on both sides next we'll go to our rear clamps we're going to use our smaller clamp here we're going to go again in between our two spacer screws i'm going to set it in place and just snug it down. Not completely tight at this point. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three measurements of the width in the insides of the rails. We're gonna measure uh, right at, uh, right behind the bulkhead, right where the screws go into the canister cover. We're gonna make sure that's the same width 
at the first clamping location and then also at the tailgate at the last clamping location. Now this one came from the factory. The set screws were already in the perfect location so it doesn't need any kind of adjustment. But if your set screws had been twisted or something like that or if you moved them around during installation, uh, it, you're also provided an Allen wrench uh, where you can loosen up this clamp wherever it's off and you can turn the set screw with the Allen wrench to bring it out or in, whichever the case may be, to make sure the rails are perfectly parallel to each other. All right, now we've already attached the wire harness to the battery. We've run it down the firewall along the frame and back up the bed. And we're going to attach it to the one attachment or the one plug that is not plugged in anything. It's got a P on there for power. And only one way it can hook up, so I'm going to hook that up right now. Next, we're going to drill a 5 8 hole into our plastic kick out. Next, we're going to re remove our plastic film that protects the canister. Now, to attach a drain tube, what we're going to do is we're going to take our provided washer slip it over top of the plug and nice and aligned so it snaps in flat. And we're going to take our tube, run it through the hole and take our drain tube plug and snap it into the bottom of the canister. Now we're just going to test the operation by pressing the C and holding that to close the cover. When the cover's brand new, the seals on the side rails are pushing down on the cover. So until those seals wear in, you just need to help it out by pulling on it until it gets to the back. After a couple of days, you won't need any help at all. Now we're going to press the O button to open it. We're going to press the light button, test the light on the LED. And that will power off after four minutes. Next, we're going to remove the remaining plastic that protects the cover. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.